Have you come across this 7-11 rule? No. Okay, so a study says that you take 7 seconds to make 11 decisions about a person whom you are meeting for the first time. Oh, that's cool. And so, you never get second chance to create first impression. Yes, Kirati, you have only 7 seconds, my friends. The first 7 seconds are very important to create that lasting impression on the opposite person. Right. Now, how to utilize those 7 seconds? So, here are some 7 ways to... Create great first impression. This is Kirati. And this is Vishal. From Aspire Square. And we have jotted down seven points, the seven basic steps, the simple steps which will make your impression go head on. <laughs> nice. So the first point is? Being punctual. Right. This is something which I feel is very important. Whenever you have given some time to someone to meet, it could be a business meet or a, maybe a sales meet or meeting a friend. It is very important friends that you reach on time. I would always suggest you, it's fine if you reach five minutes before and right. create a better impression than making a person wait for some time. It's, it's really a bad manner. In fact, I've also heard that in Japan, if a train reaches even a one minute late, then the scheduled time it is considered as late. Yes. Next point is, Present yourself appropriately. Be presentable. As we shall said, there are just seven seconds to create first impression and the, it is the combined impression of body posture, physical characteristics, uh, clothing choices and facial expressions. Yes. This would, uh, these uh, four impressions would allow the second person, would allow the person to create wonderful impression or maybe the bad impression or terrible impression on someone. So utilize the combination of these four. Yes. And, and looks aren't everything as per Cameron Russell. So the related point is... Yes, as she said, looks are, uh, looks are not everything and you need to be confident on whatever you are. Be confident in your skin, irrespective of your body size and your complexion. That's, that doesn't matter much in today's time. And uh, this point has been very well taken in a recent movie, Bollywood movie, Bala. I, I love that movie. Me too. Yes. And uh, the last punchline that the actor says, is if you love yourself, then the whole world will love you. Do not crave, do not you know, look for the social validation of the people around you. You can be confident, you can be strong enough on whatever, how you look, how your outer appearance is. But inner confidence is very important. True. So the next topic that we are going to discuss is about body language. Like I said, it includes body posture too. It is a non-verbal communication, yes. right? So that's uttering a word, a person makes an impression of yours. And the first point here is have a winning smile. This is a big do, you know? There are a few ways we are going to discuss do's and don'ts out of which this is the first point in do category. So to have a winning smile, keep smiling as smile is contagious, yes. right? Yes. And uh, it also shows confidence. Yeah, it is. You connect it very fast if you have given a smile to a person. Maybe when you're walking around, you are crossing the road and you are looking at a stranger, just give a smile and see how he or she reveals a smile back to you. So it creates an immediate connection with the opponent person. Right. And even when you are conversing with someone, you must have a brief smile on your face. Yes. Right? Because that is very welcoming. It would allow the second person to open up. It would allow the speaker to open up very quickly. Right? Next point is eye contact. Maintain an eye contact. Because eyes are the reflections of soul, right? Yes. I'm not wrong? Yes. Eye contact helps. And it, the opponent person notices whether you are attentive or not. Mm -hmm. You are listening to him or her. Right. And so eye contact is very important. Yes. It would build trust very quickly. I have seen people facing problem with maintaining eye contact. Yes. yes. So when they are meeting, they are giving an interview, I have seen that they put their eyes down or they look somewhere else mm -hmm. and they are nervous. This shows that you are nervous about it and please don't do it. 
Yes. So as long as the conversation goes on, you must not break your eye contact. Yes. The next important element in this body language, I feel, is confident handshake. Yes. So whenever you are meeting someone, you need to shake your hand with him or her. And I feel there are people who do not know how to do proper handshake. Mm-hmm. So I see like they put their hand laying completely like a dead right. fish. So you should not do this. It should be strong enough, confident enough. Don't make like you know you are so being cool, you know, right. overpowering someone right. or surrendering hey, something. Yes, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the Shah Rukh Khan style of kuch uh, kuch hota hai. But that only suits Shah Rukh Khan. Right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so uh, have a Has strong, have a strong and confident yes. handshake like this. Yes. And uh, after the handshake, the next thing I feel. when you start talking to opposite person kiss okay i don't mean kiss it is keep it short and simple wow so whatever you are talking about don't elaborate hmm. much don't brag too much about it keep it short and a very simple way it should not be very complex to understand not a very you know high five jargons or uh, vocabulary but short and simple will do the task Right. So this reminds me of a small story that I would like to share. Sure. Please. People often keep asking me the meaning of my name, okay. Hirati, and okay. I often ended up saying, "Its name is Parvati." Okay. I, its meaning is Parvati. Its name is Parvati. Right. Yeah. Uh, later on, you know, everyone asked me again, "What's the name? What's my name? And what's the meaning of it?" Later on, you know, I was so pissed off saying the same answers. Okay. So I was just Google. I just googled the meaning of my name, and I got to know that there is a religion named Kirati, okay. and the people who uh, believe in this religion are called Kirati people. <coughs> the, this religion is meant to be for the people who worship. mother earth okay. now if i share this kind of story this just in three lines everyone is going to remember the name yes. as well as the yes. meaning of it right and that's how out of seven people in room or maybe 10 people in room i'm sure that people are going to remember me yes so you are making an impression and you are you know out of the crowd by making this yes. kind of statements i right. i also feel kirati that compliment also does a good fuck yes yes so an honest compliment i don't it doesn't mean that you speak anything right it has to be very genuine yeah it has to be genuine an honest compliment will do the task i have made a rule to compliment at least one person in a day yeah wow. so whenever you are meeting someone it could be anything about his mobile phone maybe the cover of a phone maybe his hairstyle maybe his dressing the bag he is carrying the shirt he is wearing his shoes anything but an It's- honest compliment You know, it uplifts the day of a person. Yes, exactly. yes. It is yes. Exactly. It's about to say that. Yeah. True, true. So the next, uh, you know, and with the same note, I would like to extend at this point a bit. Whenever you meet someone, if you want to uh, present yourself as you are very genuine while giving compliment to someone, I would suggest to not to make it very subjective. Like you look beautiful, you look nice, right. not like that. Okay. You must say, "Oh, this outfit is lovely." Yeah. Yes. Right. So, oh, what a wonderful wristwatch! It suits you so well. Yes. Something like that. That yes. would make you sound more genuine. Genuine. Yeah. Right. right. Now I suggest that uh, no it is suggested that you must practice dynamic poses before appearing for an interview. So what do you mean by dynamic poses? I'll check out these images. Right? The next point is pay attention to, to the tone of your voice. Yes, the tone of voice is very important. Yes. Yeah. It has to be firm because it shows how confident you are but at the same time you have to be very courteous yes. and polite while you're speaking to someone. True. You should sound confident. Yeah. Naturally, not much of fumbling. Yeah, not hesitant about it. And uh, apart from the tone, there are five magical words that that does amazing job to create your impression. And which are the five magical words? The five magical words, friends, are please, mm-hmm. thank you, sorry, forgive me, please forgive me, and pardon me. So you be, you know, you request if you want something, right? 
you are asking a favor, start with a please word. Yes. Yeah, it Why makes not? a person feel good. If you have done something wrong, it's completely fine to ask for forgiveness or say sorry. And uh, there is always, if you are receiving some favor or something, you should thank them for whatever you have received. A small thank you makes a person feel good for what he has done. And use this, this five terms in your day-to-day -day life. Make it a habit. Starting from a day in the morning with your family members, your kids, your parents. Anywhere you go and use this as much as you can and you will see the difference in your day-to-day -day life about it. Right. Well, I would say that your thank you has done wonders with me. Is it? Because, yes, you must be grateful to not just to people but also to yourself. Do you know that? Yeah, of course. Why not? Okay. Now, those were do's of body language. Now, how about discussing don'ts of body language? Okay. Which are the don'ts? So, I feel uh, someone, when you are sitting with someone or talking to someone, we have some of the attributes we display, demonstrate, right. and which shows that the, you are nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, stop fidgeting. You know, I have seen people when uh, they are coming for an interview or talking to mm -hmm. me, I have seen this thing, they are doing fidgeting yeah, with their cracking. hands, yes. cracking knuckles, yeah. Uh, I have seen girls playing with their hair. Ah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that's disturbing. Yeah, that it takes is. my attention towards their hair, they look them on the face. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, uh, playing, I mean, they are nervous, they are moving their legs. Right, yes, right. The legs are trembling. So these are some things which they should avoid. They may practice this thing if they feel nervous and I'm sure maybe practicing in front of mirror or their friend will bring a lot of confidence and change in the body language. Right. One more point is body posture. Okay. You must not shrink yourself. You can you do not have to sit like this or cross your legs. You have to be confident. Just still sit like this. Right? True. You have to be opened up totally. Yes. yes. Right? We, we will list out, friends, the amazing videos on the body postures and what do they demonstrate. Mm -hmm. We also have a very good video, a small clipping, wherein uh, the President Obama, mm -hmm. yeah, he is, I mean, he, that, that's, he's so generous and kind towards the people. Yes. 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 We will surely put that video, the link. Do not miss to watch it and uh, that's it right so we are ending our video here if you have really good suggestions then please write them in the comment box below and do not forget to subscribe there's a like. bell there's a bell icon there please click on the subscribe button and do let us know how our videos are if you like to listen on something else we are doing a lot of research and a lot of reading and browsing around to find out new and interesting topics to make videos on. Right. On self-improvement. Yes. Right. So till then, bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care.